welcome to the Good Craft on a Bad Budget. Today we're filming from the local park. I'm Harmony and Corn is behind the camera. Hello. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about water. Um, now, how many of you guys have gone to the ocean and just watched the tide go in and out? Uh, how about listening to the to the melody of the rainfall as I'm doing right now. Um, have you ever sat and had a good cry or laughed until you cried? Well, those are all good examples of the water element working inside and outside of you. The direction of water would be west and associations are emotions and dreams, compassion, love, sadness, psychic awareness, and cleansing. Um, forgive me, I still have to look at my piece of paper. <laughs> Gender is feminine and receptive. Um, now we're going to talk about the Witch's Pyramid again. If you remember right, it stands for to know, to dare, to will, and to be silent. Well, the power of water is to be silent. That means when you're doing your magical work, always make sure that you're quiet about it. You don't want to talk about your work to someone negative who is going to think negative about it because it's just going to diminish the work you're doing. Um, where lies fear lies your greatest power. Okay, the colors are blue, indigo, aqua, green, silver, and purple. The stones. Now, all these stones are receptive. They all have the same basic qualities about them. Um, the stones are aquamarine lapis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Limestone, moonstone, pearl. Rose quartz, shells, and solidite. Solidite. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Some of the powers include healing, psychic powers, love, and protection. Now, let's go to the zodiac. The zodiac for water somehow got deleted. So <laughs> instead of, I know uh, Scorpio is a water element. Corin, do you oh, by Pis chance? Is Pisces any chance? Water? Pisces, yes. Pisces, Scorpio. And there's one more. I think it's Capricorn. Um, now, people born under the water element sign tend to be emotional, compassionate, nurturing, moody, and can be slightly unpredictable. <coughs> <laughs> the planets, the moon. Um, and Venus. Hour is dusk. Days. Monday and Friday. Now remember, as we've said in past videos, those are just guidelines. The season is fall. When it rains the most. Life cycle, adulthood, and the reproductive years. Now, I know corn normally does the alchemaic sign. So, 
the alchemaic sign is a downward pointing triangle. The chakra is the navel and the heart. Types of different magic you can do when you work with the water element. Divination, dream interpretation, psychic work, astral travel, healing, and of course, fertility. Positive characteristics. Excuse me, my throat's getting dry. Um, compassionate, loving, forgiving, sensitive, easygoing, and modest flowing. Negative characteristics would be overly sensitive, weepy, dependent, indifferent, lazy, insecure, and a little bit rigid. If you're overbalanced, now remember overbalanced means you have too much of the element working within you. You can be depressed or hypersensitive. Uh, and if you have too much, or if you don't, don't have enough, excuse me, if you're underbalanced and you don't have enough, you can be cold, emotionless, um, and just all about have a cold demeanor. So, I've gone over everything I can think of going over. I'm sorry, I had to read a lot. I didn't have porn here to <laughs> make me laugh. Um, just remember, the next time you go to the lake, uh, or you hear the rainfall, to oh, shit. appreciate it. Or as Corin says, if you go to the ocean, pay attention to the tide. Um, really appreciate and understand how that water element works both inside and outside of you. One more point to be made is that water gives life. And as easily as it gives life, it can take it away. It's kind of like when I was growing up and my mother used to say, I brought you into this world, I can take you out. So just remember that. Um, as beautiful as the water can be, it can also be a very destructive force. Hi guys, Corn here with Good Craft on the Bad Budget. As Harmony mentioned earlier, we're doing the water element. Now what's important about the water element, remember, is it is emotional. Think of it like the ducks when they're in the water. You ever heard of letting problems slide off like water on a duck's back? Well, it kind of fits like that. Now, when we're connecting with the elements and having mosquitoes bite you left and right, um, and flying your hair, it's uh, important to remember you can meditate on this. Absorb how each of the waves move, how the water is fluent, and how it really isn't stagnant in one area. It's always moving. It's much like life, much like problems, much like anything else that goes on with us. When we're meditating, concentrate on the flow. Listen to the way the water rolls. Be still, but always be constantly moving. And if your brain won't shut off long enough, that's okay. Let it just go, because eventually it's going to run out of ideas. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but it's true. When you're connecting, it's important to get down and experience things at its level. Now, I'm not going to lay down here because I'm not properly dressed for such an occasion. However, you can see the rain, how it plays its melody, how it relaxes, how it just kind of goes with the flow. That's what we need to do in life. We need to learn to go with the flow and connect with it. Get out in these elements. Feel the rain constantly flying, dropping on you. Mosquitoes wanting to bother you when you're shooting. Go away. Anyway, uh, so for Corn's tip, it's really simple. We need to learn to meditate. So relax. Control your breathing. Let your thoughts just go. 
Learn to interpret your thoughts simply as exactly that energy that needs to either go or come, be released or captured and moved around and then released again. So uh, this is corn. Of course, tip of the day is learn to experience the element. Water is a very important thing. As always, you ain't got to be rich to be a lich. Just close to a river or lake somewhere. Amen. Bless you.